I'm with you. I have to talk here to Connie. Connie, why don't you come out here? Okay. Well, Connie Chung shows up, and he's still blowing off John, but he's going to talk to Connie. See? He's reaching through the crowd to grab Connie. Yeah, grab right. John. John's just totally making him nauseous. It's pretty cool. <laughs> But John doesn't still give up, right? You're still going for no, it. No, I'm going for it. He's going for it. Oh, man. Yeah. What a reporter, huh? Oh, Connie, guess what? No, no, no. I just want to ask you a question. <laughs> Connie, can you call me? <laughs> John's moving in. John's outraged. <laughs> Which is, do you love the Howard Stern show? Right? <laughs> She's blocking him out. He can't go in. Now, and the cool thing happens next. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Stay tuned through these commercials, and you got to see this. We'll be back right after these words. Now we're back with Stutter and John. He's in pursuit of Richard Gere with the Dalai Lama and oh. Connie Chung. So uh, what happens next is a pretty cool move at a press conference. They make up a rule just for John. <laughs> the John rule. Yeah, tell him about this. Uh, they decide that nobody's allowed back in to talk to, uh, to talk to Richard. You know, I can't ask him a question on camera. He can't explain anything. <laughs> because there's a time limit on this. Yeah. I know. <laughs> well, no, well, well, the, his bodyguards decide that everyone's allowed in except me. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, that was good. That yeah, okay. I, I get, I get yes. it. Yeah, that does. I, I, I get a little nervous. Too. I know you do. All right. Okay. Whew. It's only, yeah. Just watch this, though. The guy makes up... you got to listen carefully to this. The guy makes up a new rule. Anybody, anybody coming, going out, stays out. Nobody comes. we got to close the line. So the new rule is, if you leave the press conference... You can't get back in. Yeah, let me rewind that for you. you got to take a look at this. Wait a second. This is impossible to rewind. Here. Okay. So, do you love the Howard Stern show, right? Radio. Yeah. New rule. You can't, you can't go in. Any, anybody coming, going out, stays out. Nobody comes. We got to close the room down. So are those guys allowed in? I, I have my equipment in there, though. Where's your equipment? Let's get it and we'll take it out, all right? Okay. Uh, so if you leave the press conference, you're not allowed to be in, except everyone else is going yeah, back in. Yeah, there's people yeah, right. walking right by. Except for John, but it's a new rule. They and they're going to get John's equipment for him. Yeah, they don't want to tell him, just get out of here. They're doing it in a nice way. So, you know, this is the Dalai Lama. He's yeah, got it. a peaceful it. environment. Yeah, right, you know. yeah. Well, uh, hold on. All right, let me get on the other guy. Who has, who's the other? All right, go get the other guy. So where's your bag? Oh, yeah. Can I just ask which of the question? I'm outside. What do you think I am? I know more than anybody else is. You have the main entrance. What? Move to the side. I am moving to the side. Which which side? Where am I? You know, be, try and be specific. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Richard. I'm not going to bite him, you know? You love the Howard Stern show, Rich? Oh, this. <laughs> I've never been so dead. <laughs> you love the Howard Stern show, Rich? Not today. <laughs> man. Take care, Rich. Okay. I'll see you, man. Bye. Take care. That was that. John was the only guy who asked Richard uh, a question and asked the Dalai Lama a question. So that was pretty decent. <laughs> And uh, then John goes after Connie Chung. <laughs> Watch this. You're an amazing man. Right. There's more to that tape, too, but somebody took it all out. You I don't know where it is, but it's really where some women man. start yelling at John also. Oh, geez. What happened to the women, Gary? Well, they weren't yelling at him. But there was just a really funny part where John started to edge towards him, and it was like, John was like, they treated John like he was pig pen. You yeah, know right. I mean? Oh, they yeah. They like, moved out of the way, and they looked at him with utter disgust. Yeah, yeah, they really almost vomited. Anyone who was looking at him at the press conference just started vomiting. That's all it is. <laughs> all right, now watch this. So he doesn't give up, and he goes after Connie Chung. He's going to get an interview He's going to get an interview, somebody. right? He's just, he's just hassling everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Connie, can I ask you three questions? I'm John from the Howard Stern Show. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, Dave Brooklyn. How are you? Great. Um, are you familiar with Alan? Sure. Is it true that I, uh, are you fantasized about him at all? Only you. Are you a Jew? <laughs> Connie, are you a Jew? 
Jew? Are you a Jew? Come, come on, answer a few questions. Please, it's for Howard. It's for Howard. It's for Howard. It's for Howard. You smoke pot. He doesn't give up. He goes right into the car. Bye, Howard. Why won't Maury come on the show? What? Maury's got the mic up to her car. Huh? <laughs> Through the glass. Why won't Maury come on the show? What? <laughs> come on. Roll down a window. Let me talk to you. Come on, Connie. She doesn't look pregnant, Robin. No, not to no. me either. Unfortunately, she does not look pregnant. What's the matter with that people these days? Nobody Maury. has a sense of humor. Hard to believe, isn't it? Well, there it is. John, man. Going for it once again. You got to hand it to him, huh? You got to hand it to him. He really goes for it. That was a good job. Thanks a lot. Very good job. And you didn't get punched. It's amazing. No. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. The restraint of Richard Gere is amazing. You know, if Richard Gere had punched you, it would have been worth like $10 million. I know, I know. I, 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 I got to lose it like Morton Downey does. You get Morton Downey to punch you, you're, you're in line in the bankruptcy court. Richard is aware of his bottom line and keeps his hands in his pockets. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think Richard Gere knows when he's dealing with a nut and he knows to avoid him. You are a wacko. Yeah. Oh, well, come on. Come on. I don't think Richard Gere wants to appear bottomless in this, uh, in this particular thing. <laughs> I don't want to talk about being bottomless in that movie. What was it? He had a small... Yeah, a little one. Small wiener? Yeah. I totally fell out of love. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> well, Robin, you know, you shouldn't be like that. You know, when a guy gets excited, it can grow to enormous proportions. Yeah, not that much. Not, not from a... that side. No? no. Impossible? <laughs> they All say the that... blood would rush from his head. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, that, well, well, he would pass out if it grew that much. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> this uh, Saturday night. It's time to see what's been going on this week. Yes. And in our fair city, Howard, uh, we had a miracle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a miracle. All right. <laughs> yeah, some people found a statue in a tree. Right. Started praying to it. Right. And then somebody, and sticking money in the tree, and then somebody cut it out of the tree and it sent everybody crazy this week. So let's see, I play didn't, I didn't hear about this miracle. I thought you meant uh, Gary brushing his teeth, that yeah. miracle. <laughs> that still yeah. hasn't happened. That still hasn't <laughs> happened? Oh, I thought that miracle had happened. What's he doing uncovered? All right, so anyway, so they found now they found a statue in a tree. Yeah, we'll have a, a whole look at okay. this thing. We'll see what the statue in the tree looks like. All right, let's take a look at this. There it is in the newspaper. You can see it used to be in the tree, just like that. Now there's the tree. People have put flowers all around it and created shrines, and they've got rosaries hanging there. They stuffed money in the tree. That's where it was cut out. I believe Our Lady has a message here for us. I believe that what she is saying, that her hands were spread outwards, that she is saying she is the bestower of graces, and that what she is saying is she wants for the, everyone to pray the rosary and to wear her brown scapula. It was a very, I got a very eerie feeling when I came last week and first saw it. It was magical, and it was... Uh, it's like a religion. Wait a second. How did the statue end up in the uh, tree? Nobody knows. It probably was left there by somebody and the tree started to grow up around it. Yeah. So everyone thinks that someone's going to start praying to a tree? Is that what's going on? <laughs> everyone's praying to a tree? What are we, voodoo? What are we, what are we, what are we voodoo? Ooh. <laughs> she looks a little like Jane Curtin. That's a miracle. It was almost. It was very, uh... <laughs> Well, I just put in a, a sign in a tree over there that I offer $200 uh, to somebody if they bring, you know, just no question or nothing, I'm going to give them 